South Africa's Steve Irwin dies from snakebite. The Telegraph. A social media snake handler and conservationist known as South Africa's Steve Irwin has died a month. H after being bitten by a highly venomous snake. Below are your comments. I learned in the army that there are four type of snakes to avoid. Long ones, short ones, fat ones, and skinny ones. It was a good lesson that I have kept with me for 56 years. Unfortunately, reality TV has changed perspectives on nature and conservation shows. We see far too much programming that involves, for lack of a better term, stunts that do little to PR. Omit conservation. Discovery Channel's Shark Week programming is a good example of network executives being more in tear. Stead in drawing viewers than running programs with solid educational content. I've seen several videos made by this guy in the past and though they were entertaining and interest. Ing, I always thought he was rolling the dice. And it's not like he was never bitten before this happened. If I remember correctly he was hospitalized for several weeks just a couple of years ago after being tagged by some other venomous snake. I just feel bad for the kids and his family, not for him. He knew the risks and lost. The law of averages never stops. A percentage will have a certain outcome. Enough encounters will produce that certain outcome. I thought conservationists were supposed to respect wildlife, not taunt them. I never understood why Steve Irwin taunted crocodiles and others nor do I understand this person. Wildlife should be respected, not taunted. Learn from them, respect them. People can be interested in harmful animals, but that doesn't mean you need to taunt them. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.